What is going on YouTube is Wilson back with another episode of Band of Brothers. Thank you guys as per usual for the insane support on each and every video we've done so far. If you are new and you have missed any of them, you can check them all out on the channel. Joined once again by EJ. He has seen this entire show already. I have not, so it's my first time watching. If you do enjoy the video, you want to stick around, drop a like, hit that sub button, and drop a comment. Let me know your favorite part of this episode, some cool behind the scenes stuff. Your comments have, have been awesome. Really looking forward to those. Let's get into it. And then a medic came along and I think he really saved my life because he stuck a surrette in my in a key position, more uh, morphine. Even today, a real cold night, we go to bed and I, I, my wife will tell you that the first thing I'll say is I'm glad I'm not in Baston. Oof. It's crazy the, mem like, the memories they have of like, how vivid yeah. all things. Yeah, remember what I ate for breakfast this morning? And see anything. No. The shit. Come is he here? Come is he here? Snell. Doc, bandage. Take him back to regiment. We're taking a lot of hits, and we have no aid station. We've run out of food, we have no winter clothes, and we have little or no ammo. Line spread so thin, the enemy wanders into our CP to use our slit trenches, sir. We just can't cover the line. Good morning, Captain Exit. <laughs> Couldn't find the 501st on our right flank. I tied it in with a squad from our second platoon, but, sir, we've got some considerable gaps in our perimeter. I don't have enough people, sir. We're spread too damn thin. Hold the line, Colonel. Close the gaps. This goddamn fog won't lift anytime soon, so you can forget about air cover. There's a lot of shit heading this way. Jeez. Thanks for the help, General. <laughs> I feel like I'm digging my hole a little bit deeper than that. Yeah. yeah. Not much of a hole. Just a tad. You got extra scissors? Uh -uh. Just a one. Hey, hey, uh, Doc, I gotta talk to you. How's that leg? And the hell with the leg, I'm pissing needles. Later. <laughs> pissing needles. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't feel good. Hmm. I don't want to even think about it. Uh, what about an extra thread in your aid kit, huh? How'd you morphine, guy? Oh, my Jesus, fuck. Malarkey, be safe. Take it. Where's Piccolo? Christ knows. Jesus, you out of fucking nowhere, man. <laughs> Go. Oh, crazy, they're just launching oh God, launching yeah. bombs like and you can't see who's launching them. You just have to sit there and take it. Pinkala scissors, I need scissors. You got scissors. What the hell I need scissors for? Got your aid kid? You got hit. Pinkala. Grounding what he can. Yeah. Alright, here. Respect. I, I can't imagine how stressful that is. Someone, uh, I mean, the medics, man. I, someone yells medic, you gotta go, you know? Yeah. The other guys get the... I mean, not that it's better, but they the I do love the... I love the environment. Yeah, it's... It makes this... It looks fantastic. Snow maps and Call of Duty were always my favorites. Come <laughs> on. Jesus, there's just holes everywhere. Yo, be honest, what's in these things anyway, huh? Nothing you won't eat, Malarkey. I won't eat Malarkey. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, baby, Hinkle. Hey, Lieutenant Dyke's got a full AK. Try him. Yeah, I'm sure he's not using his. <laughs> nah. Baby, Hinkle's got a surat for you. Eat your strudel. Hey, Hinkle, Winkle, eat the armpit, huh? <laughs> What is with the have fun bullshit, huh? You know my name, why don't you use it? Well, uh, it's Edward, right? Edward, are you serious? Only the goddamn nuns call me Edward. Used to looking for scissors? Because I am. For Connie. Connie. For God's sake. Doc. Connie! Oh, and uh, you better check on Joe Torrey out in the OP. He's missing something. Missing something? You guys okay? We got hot food. Can you smell it? Are you missing something? Home. <laughs> Where are your boots? 
Uh. Washington up General Taylor's ass. <laughs> Took him off drying my goddamn socks. They got blown to hell, okay? Well, what's your size? Nine. Just like everybody else. And he lost his boots. No, That's not good, bro. It. Yeah, hypothermia. Wait, you can lose some toes. What are you looking for? Scissors. Thank you, Pecani. <laughs> my goddamn scissors. <laughs> God damn scissors. Sergeant, I'm sorry, look, I know it must be hell, but I, I can't help you, all right? Just drink lots of water. Water? It's pissing that hurts. <laughs> What's going on here, Bill? Who the hell's singing? Well, I'll, 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 find out, I'll find out, Lieutenant. I'll find out. I'll shut him up. I'll shut him up. Yeah, I wouldn't be singing that loud. No, I, yeah, it doesn't seem like a good idea. Jesus, man. Bacani. Ay, 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 ay. There's pieces of the tree. Like... Ah, ah. Roots and shit, sticks and shit. No, Doc, save the morphine. I can make it. I can make it. Save it, okay? What a nice guy. Yeah, respect, respect. Most of them guys handed over that morphine to, to the Doc, you know, no problem. Like, they, they respect what he's doing. And... Boiling off bandages so they can reuse them. That's. Come and have him, Doc. <laughs> yes, to me, uh, bandage. Oui, you got plasma? No. Are you a surgeon? No, we don't got no surgeon. What's what's this? Uh, from the bed. What sheets? Yes, the bandages. Jesus. Comment vous appelez-vous? My name is Rene. I'm Jean. Eugene Rowe. Where are you from? Louisiana. Half Cajun. Et toi? Où viens d'où? Bastogne. It's from here. Yeah. I can't imagine like sure. this. <laughs> like, uh, well, like it's like she's from here. Like Eugene. She, yeah, yeah, boots. But like, he, she, she's probably her home, like, yeah. in literally rubble, like, I cannot imagine that. She's doing what she can to help. Tell you want a reconnaissance patrol. Crowd hunting. All right, I'll go take these. And give the boots to Joe Troy. Tell him there are nine. Tell him there are nine. <laughs> I don't really know, but <laughs> take them all off the street. Yeah, I think the thing is, like, there was no sizes. Everybody's got Everybody's a nine. Everybody's a nine, yeah. <laughs> If you're an 11, you got a 9. <laughs> if you're a 7, you got a 9. And where and how do they shoot this? This is incredible. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. You hate to leave a man behind. Dude, you just can't. Then they'll have two bodies. Good lord. Good God, man. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, I mean you, uh, absolute chaos. You can't see anything. It's freezing. It's. What can you do? Never sits with any of them. Curious, like, if he doesn't want to create much attachment or anything. Seems like he's always on the move and he's with his other medic. Other than that, you know? Like, yeah. Nice for the boot stock. Doing fine. Are you still having trouble with your feet? Show me. Let me. Let me see it. He's missing some toes or something. So just. I. Strange for a toy. If it turns gangrene, you could lose it. I ain't coming off the line, Doc. Damn. Respect. He doesn't want to stay. <laughs> doesn't want to leave, yeah. but. 
Yeah, for real. Jeez, man. The little things. I promised him if he got hit. Yeah. I'd get his stuff and bring it to his mom, you know? Not the fucking crotch so strip him. Hey, no, it, it's okay. It's not. It's not okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Sucks. Really sucks. Took away sickness, cancer, you name it. Your grandma did that? Yeah. <sighs> you shit me. I'm still trying to figure why they picked me for a medic. God knows. <sighs> Snap of a finger. Just like that, you're a medic. You no, know, that's how they they just pick medics like randomly. Maybe they're just short on them and you know, and needed people to to do it. Yeah, I'm sure no one really wants to volunteer for that. Yeah. Look like he looked like dead. <laughs> so frozen and pale and just ugh. Yeah. I wonder what they could get the temperatures up to in that foxhole with the cover over the top and you know, all the body heat in there. Yeah, something definitely not too warm, but something bearable. Air support. Oh fuck! C forty seven. Bring us supplies. It's a drop. It's a drop. Come on. Oh, nice. Thank God. Yeah. Huge. Why did they shoot at him? Um, maybe just the, they're right on the line, so... Yeah, I stay back kind of thing? Well, uh, they may have thought... Oh, they were Germans. Yeah. They were. Uh... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How do these people do it? I, I, ugh. You're a good nurse. No. I never want to treat another wounded man again. I'd rather work in a butcher's shop. I get it. I mean, it's gotta be terrible. We need some help over here! And look, she jumps right away. <laughs> Spite it. At least they got supplies in there, you know? Yeah, that's a plus. Basically, is working in a butcher shop. I mean, good lord. Yeah, seriously. The Legionnaires. When they were watching the Huns and Goths. The Visigoths. Visigoths, Jesus Christ. Barbarian. Jesus lord. Need some flash thunder action, yeah. you know? Oh, jeez. You know? Calls anybody by a nickname. Little clicker. The one's called me Edward. Is that right? Yeah. Edward? Yeah, they never, the nickname thing name? came up again. I think he just doesn't want to be friends with any of them in case any of them get hurt. Like or like, you know, maybe it might make him do something stupid. He is emotional about going to get someone or... It sucks because like camaraderie is like, I mean, I've never been in war, but I assume a huge thing to get yeah. through it. So that must suck. Oh dear Christ. Ooh. Oh fuck me. Oh man. Oh no. Oh, I can't feel my legs, dude. Take it easy. My fox will get the plasma now. Here they come. I mean, what the fuck? A blitzkrieg of sorts. Jesus Christ. Sound design is crazy. Look, I'll get you another purple heart for it. Hey! <laughs> oh, yeah, is that the guy that was is in that the, the guy? Oh, yeah, yes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's his tag? Where's his tag? What's wrong with him? 
Paralyzed. What? He's paralyzed. He can't feel a thing. Damn. Uh, uh. Well, I was sitting down to a Christmas Eve dinner of turkey and hooch back at the division CP. Damned if I don't like old Joe Dominguez's rancid ass beans better. Hello, easy company. Hello, sir. Bragging about his meals. Sir, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, two days ago, the German commander demanded our honorable surrender. To save the USA encircled troops from total annihilation. The German commander received the following reply. To the German commander. Nuts! <laughs> We're giving our country and our loved ones at home a worthy Christmas present. And being privileged to take part in this gallant feat of arms, we're truly making for ourselves a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you all, and God bless you. Nuts, sir! Nuts, Jeez, nothing, man. Yeah, winner's clocked it. He's a good judge on people. Yeah, he's good at reading people. <laughs> Picture of my girl. Good Jeez. looking bride, Buck. <laughs> She's finished with me. <laughs> Just in time for Christmas, huh? Just in time for Christmas. Jeez. Oh, Cheating on him? Done with him? Broke up? Lucky strikes means fine tobacco. Where the hell did you get those? <laughs> Merry Christmas, fellas. Malarkey. Thank you, jolly old St. Luz. <laughs> fire's not a good idea. Just a couple of minutes. I did smell a fire. Are you out of your mind? Oh, we're in a dell. Huh? <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. See still, Harry. Hope that fire was worth it. Jesus. Bro. Stay still. Ah, that's a bone. That's a bone. <laughs> Can't tell if it's bone or mangled flesh. Uh, probably a little bit of both. Up. What was that? His tag? He's tagging him that he had already yeah. had a morphine. Eugene, get yourself into town, get a hot meal. Good lord, it's never. Oh, this is town. Ah! Fuck. <gasps> oh, was that the... Oh my god. Is that the medical church? Yes. Fuck. Renee! Oh my god. Fuck. God damn, man. Yeah. Winner set him there to get a nice hot meal. And... Fuck this. Sucks. Damn, she was like just trying to help. One girl came from the Congo to help too. Like, I didn't see a body though. You know? They were downstairs. I'll fix it up. Gee, called me babe. <laughs> Guess I did. <laughs> babe. Have fun. That's a goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she would have done. She would have made a bandage out of that. Yep, that's what I like about it. It's kind of poetic in a way. Oh my god.
<laughs> Damn. Yeah. Oh my. That was a heavy one. Yeah. Oof. Super heavy. That's a that, that was a medic episode. You know, we followed uh, Eugene Rowe. Rowe. Yeah, very much through his eyes and his experience of the Battle of the Bulge. Battle of the Bulge. Yeah, I didn't even realize that's what it was, but yeah, once they went in there, so they, you know, <laughs> been stuck in there. The Arden, I think it's the Arden Forest. Um, and yeah, the Germans, you know, threw everything at them, so they they got encircled because the Germans came, you know massive bulge out and then they were just stuck in the middle of the bulge yep. surrounded in Bastogne. And uh I was kinda like, yeah, we pretty much saw how that how that all played out. Wild the Germans show no mercy. Yeah. They, terrible. You know, I'm sure you know it went both ways, but yeah, they they just bombed, bombed everything. Uh, they bombed everything. Yeah. Bombed everything, and then the, the 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 warfare in the forest itself. You know, like you said, you can't see anything. It's yeah, it's like snow, snow coming fog. down. Like, fog. I mean, your uh your movements are restricted because you're freezing. Like, yeah, everyone's dealing with these the side effects of being in that like severe cold. And meanwhile, you got to still remain alert because you got the enemy just coming through your line, just getting lost and yeah. The same thing you you're getting lost in. It's just it's chaos. Yeah, I love the scene where where he falls into their foxhole, the Germans' foxhole. It's yeah, like, and he's like, Jesus you know, Christ, go go! Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jeez. Jeez. Yeah. Jeez. yeah, wild. Yeah, it's fucked. I mean, we lost a lot of a lot of easy in this one. Yeah. Um. I think that's what was taking a toll on Rowe as well, just how many guys that he had to take back. Yeah, I don't know if he's ever seen that much action, like that, or that many casualties at least. Yeah, I'm sure Baston, like, or, you know, in, the, in this battle, it was it's pretty, pretty rough. Yeah. Pretty rough. Um, uh, yeah, it's just interesting how, like, I'm glad he, you know, is starting to. Call people by their nicknames and you know, yeah, get more involved because he was just not doing well, not connecting to anything. No, which I think yeah. was by choice, but also definitely what was happening around him was just kind of like definitely shaking yeah. him up, understandably disconnected. Yeah, um, was, you know, sat away from them while they like bullshitted, and yeah, you know, they're all potential patients, you know, so he doesn't want to. Lessen the impact of yeah injury. yeah yeah and that and like mm -hmm. on him like it's probably yeah. easier in his head like if they die at least I didn't like we weren't friends you know mm -hmm. yeah I'm sure that has to yeah play play a part in his thinking just in the it, it, yeah it won't hurt as much if they die if yeah. I don't know them but yeah, I'm glad he's coming tough around to be a medic, and, man tough to yeah be a medic. I mean. No one, I'm sure that's what they were doing, right? No one, not enough medics signing up, so they kind of had to just... Just say you're a medic. Yeah, pull people out. Yeah. It's a lot of responsibility. It's a lot of... A lot of people depending on you, like, their lives. Like, yeah. It's definitely... What I want to be a medic. I don't know how they do it. No. Yes. Yeah, different breed. Different breed, for sure. Have you ever seen the movie Hacksaw Ridge? No. That that's that's that might have to be in a show pull. That's a fantastic movie. Uh, it's another military movie. No, I've definitely heard of it, but yeah, no, never seen it. Yeah, based based on a true story. Cool. Really, really well done. Yeah, I mean, a great episode, and just you really like the set, like you said, you just really felt in there, like that. You felt the cold. How they they all looked cold. They like you they said they looked dead in that dead. hole. Like, yeah, <laughs> all shivering, yeah. like pissing needles, and I, I know. I, I mean, uh, are they all that good of actors, or do they have to like put these guys in a freaking walk-in freezer and then just bring them back out on set right. and see yeah. go act? Or do they maybe they actually were in a cold environment? I don't know. I'd love to know 
what they did to shoot yeah them. for real it, it, yeah it looked like maybe a stage but also like they went somewhere i wouldn't have been surprised yeah and then the that scene where uh where they're going on a forward advance you know looking for germans and they come across their line and then oh yeah i got shot the neck that went down and then yeah babe is like there and he wants to get them but they're just it's a barrage of gunfire you're just asking you know you're gonna get shot yeah you just yeah you just can't then they have two people to worry about it's tough yeah that was whoever the actor that played babe was very good mm-hmm. in that moment he was like freaking the fuck out and then he was sad in the foxhole and it's just like I uh, just get it's just go from zero to a hundred so like so like with the fire like they're just Dude, chilling that's... talking and I mean that was stupid on their part part so but fun. then all of a sudden just like bombs like like it's earlier crazy. like yeah we're it's we're sitting here in quiet too and then all of a sudden it's just like bang like imagine watching this in theater or something with surround oh yeah it was great and I all the Renee stuff was was really good and I you know feel bad we. I think we lost her in that uh church explosion um yeah unfortunate it seemed like she was right there you know he found her and yeah just helping people she said she didn't want to but i i like the part when she was like i don't want to treat another wounded man you know it's and then two seconds later like nurse we need help like another one and she just gets right up and runs over and it's like what's going on yeah it's it's crazy i mean so i feel like so many people just had to do stuff they just didn't want to do you know they just had to do it and she's yeah. from bastone and oh compelled, compelled to help yeah special uh special type of people those uh those people yeah the damn germans bomb the aid stations crazy there well especially like going in and out of there like so many times like with with uh eugene like he wouldn't he got there at least four or five times yeah sixth time it's it's not there anymore i know it sucked man winter sent him to town for a nice hot meal and he's gonna get to go see her and help out whatever he chose to do yeah i I do love all the little moments of levity you know the laughing and like just break the tension and just building that camaraderie up like with with Bull and, and Garnier, like, about his wife or whatever. Um, I don't really know what he meant. I guess they broke up or something. Like, she sent him a letter, maybe. Yeah. Um, right before Christmas. Yeah. It's in time. Uh, I did like that little speech that the general gave about, you know, Christmas or whatever, but... Yeah, n- nuts. Or nuts. Of nuts to them when they wanted their... Yeah, <laughs> yeah something yeah, that was, that was, they needed to hear for sure. Yeah, I think that was all over, the, like, the front page of newspapers back in the day. Nuts. Nuts. Yeah, when that happened. Pretty cool. Pretty bad. I mean, I'll get the guys going for... for yeah, for sure. They all, they all loved it. Boosted morale a little bit. We're not gonna surrender. You get him nuts. Like they, like they said they, in the in the writing post uh, post the episode, just they they were good. They didn't need to be rescued. You know, they were they were chilling. They yeah, were just, that's like, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, no, none of them ever agreed they needed to be rescued. Yeah, they never. I mean, at least the way they portrayed portrayed, portrayed it here, um, they look. I mean, depleted on resources and stuff, but they were they were still doing what they had to do. The crazy episode, I was lo- I was like lost in it, grossed yeah. in it. I like I was there. I like that we went through Eugene's eyes for pretty much the whole time. Mm-hmm. Great character moments, good action. Those bullets whizzing by, man, they get me every time. Oh yeah, that those ones came zoo, zoo, close, zoo. real close. Just uh. Really, really like draining watch in a good way. I was like, mm-hmm. oh god, it's just blow after blow. Yeah, but uh, they got they got rescued. No, see, they see, they didn't need a rescue. They didn't need it. Sorry, <laughs> they just left willingly. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. Yeah, good episode. Very, very good.